at least once. At least once. May I say, you know, I mean, I'm not going to be a life, so we are all new cool, but may I say, well, if I think we only see in a show, okay, me. Mm -hmm. All the kids to them in a show, I mean, never know what I look like and what I feel like. And when you go places and see things and you're in awe because you don't know certain things. And unless you travel, you don't know a lot of a lot of things. Well, if people live way worse off than we, mm -hmm. they can't mm -hmm. have a better life than we, but then come here, they travel the same way. Some, some of them not live nowhere. They not live nowhere. But then travel still and make it look like any world, but God know I world because me they feel nice. <laughs> no, where did you go on the on your first trip? Where did you go again? I I was in Miami. I went to Miami on my first trip, and then after that, I went to Tennessee. I went to um South Carolina. I mean, I plan to go so many places. Like New York is on my list. Um, Wago Vegas. Yes, girl. I like, could have all I like before me reach back, but. You know how you go, but at least I said this is a start. I link up from Canada and visa too, but it is a start. So for anybody who out there for not doubt on yourself, yo, no, just go and go do it. Do it and done. So can we thank you? I'm proud of you. Keep doing the good work that you're doing. And as I said, it's not only you, because once God is for you, then nothing at all can be against you. Not the negativity, not the bad thought, no, not, not at all. If I feel you, I feel you, and I've seen that you've truly found your passion. You're passionate for what you do, and I just want to say best of luck, all the best in your endeavors, and I will be around, and if I can send one million people to you, I send one million people because I have nothing but great things to say about you, so thank you for this Girl, let me make me cry. <laughs> But I will give a link. I'm your bad, so I'm yeah. But thank you, and I really feel good to know that yo, you are somebody who was who is very close to me. Like we grew up really close, me and I said, if you can do it, girl, anybody else in our world can do anything what they want. So just go for it, and uh, we'll chat. All right, so sweetie. Thanks so I much. Have. Thank you so much. All right. No problem. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. Oh, this come off now. So, guys, I'm gonna hear firsthand from Vinette. She tried for her visa about three times before she came to me. It was going to be her fourth time, and I sat with Vinette and we spoke about um you know, evaluated her chances and what we need to do. And she she trusted in me and put her all in me. And she's not the only one. There's dozens, dozens. The business is still fresh and new, but I can, there's dozens of people that can attest to, to that. So guys, as I tell you, it's not about the money, just taking your money and doing the visa. It's not about that. It's about you being ready. It's about you trusting the process it's about you you know being honest and straightforward and just tell me exactly what it is you have to tell me regarding your situation and let's just go through it there's people who have gotten their visa who have taken trips like trips that they wouldn't believe that they will ever take in their life and i made it possible and for me that is everything allowing persons who never thought that they could actually be where they as in they, they on a plane it brings me joy seeing that if it even means my pocket is empty but seeing 10 people on a plane for the first time or having a blank passport with a visa in it that is that is that is it for me like everything else can come after that is what matters that is what is my that is what really makes me feel good and feel 100 so vinet's testimony just now is like joy to me like you have my heart so warm it makes me want to cry because i remember vinet when she just came and how she she let me know her situation and she trusted me and then the day that she told me she got the visa i was elated i felt like every time a client gets a visa i feel like i'm the one that got a visa like every time a client 
get a visa like every time they send me a picture of the visa that they get it i never doubt them but i just feel good that they trusted me and hence the growth um um i'm gonna have um somebody else join the live we were gonna have melissa join the live so melissa is, is a client of mine she became a client last year um 2019 um melissa came with a blank um passport as well and you can tell them melissa where you are now hold on mel here you are just tell them about your journey you know talk to the people then for me Mel, we're waiting for you. Mel, why is it saying waiting? We're trying to get you on. Mel? Guys, share the live with your friends and family who would want to get their visa. Share the live with them so they can, you know, get some inspiration, see the face behind the page, you know, them thing there. Um, yeah. Melissa, I don't know. I'm not seeing you. I'm not seeing you. Dion, Nicole, are you available? We have Dion and Nicole who can speak as well. M I C H. Why me keep looking for Nicole like that? It's M H Z. Nicole, I'm trying to add you as well. It is real, guys. What I'm building is real, you know. Nicole. Hi, Timmy. Welcome. Although you're in the dark, but welcome. I have a bad hair day all the all the time, so then the light now go work. All yeah. right. <laughs> so call call talk it talk it things have good body. So which switch um how many tips you taking with travel with Kimmy and you know, talk about the process, how many persons you recommend and the whole journey. Okay. All right, so Initially, I was supposed to go on the, the Europe trip, the 2018 one. And that never worked out because, you know, issues and stuff like that. So I told myself that no more trip, now miss me. Period. No more, now miss me, no matter where Kimmy going. <laughs> right? So I came on the Thailand trip for 2019. I came as a solar person. Because... Honestly, my friend, um, I wouldn't say they don't, they're not into it, but usually I'm the more, the more adventurous one. So I had no friends on the Thailand trip except for like Dion that I know personally and you. And then later on, I know that Sabrina was coming, right? So I did the Thailand trip, had the best experience. From that Thailand trip, I said, you know what? I forgot to tell everybody and their mother about that trip because this a trip here, who likes not to share? <laughs> so, as soon as I saw that the Dubai trip was going out, I invited my twin friends, um, another friend charm, designer charm, and a couple other people that, you know, some made it, some did not make it. And we went on the trip and we had the best time and you know, everything good, and we're just looking for future trips, because not now miss me as I say. You understand? The experiences are always great. The people, them, you know, like, I meet a lot of nice people on the trips. Some we still have connection with and all of that, so I'm always looking forward to future trips with you. Your service is always the best. You know, I'm mean, going to stop recommending people to you, because you have a whole heap of patience, you know? The good, the bad, the indifference. You know, you work with everybody. You're not prejudiced. You know, you're, you're just good. Everything is just good. So how many visas? So I will forever support you. 
How many visas have you processed okay. to travel with Timmy? So I processed the Thailand visa, the Shenyang visa, and the Dubai. So three. So you, you got the Thailand visa, the Shenyang so visa, and the Dubai visa. Yes. And you had the U.S. visa prior to that, right? Yes, I had the U.S. visa before. Okay, so Nicole, guys, has been on two of my group trips, and she processed three visas with me. Nicole is that person that, you know, always going to be traveling with me. She's always there. She, no matter what trip I post, Nicole is okay. I'm on it. I'm, I'm on it. Hold my spot, Kimmy. And Francis said that. She just leave everything to me. Like anything she needs, yep. anything I need, I just yep. ask Nicole and say, Nicole, send this. It's there and we just, it's clean, sweet. When it comes to trust, I can say, Nicole, trust the process. Like she is like yes. that. She just send over what she need and for Kimmy, me need to say nothing else. We'll say yes, no, and we just move forward. When we look, she just show up at the airport. So that is how Nicole have built a relationship with me and have been traveling with me um since all right so anything you want to tell them anything encouraging i would recommend and encourage everybody to travel um it was never until i went to thailand that i discovered that i really really want to see more places as vinette said um, a lot of things you see on, on TV and you see on YouTube and you see them something there, like pinch yourself and I say, yo, I really mean there, so like, you know, th those kind of feeling is something that I would recommend any and everybody to see, to try for themselves, to feel. It's an amazing feeling when you, when you um, see like a postcard, like of Dubai, you see like a thing of Dubai and you know, you, you, you know, spend an arm, an arm and a leg, as the, the other girl said. It's like a fraction of what it is to get there. It's not like what people say. Like, if you're, you know, you're not supposed to reach or whatever, whatever, eat you. So my thing is, I'd encourage everybody, you don't have to have a friend. Kim, Kimona it could be your best friend. You can travel with Kimona and other people and just go out there and experience the world. There's so much to see. And I'm just here waiting on the time again when we can just go somewhere. I'm just here waiting. I'm waiting to meet new people, new adventures, new everything. I'm just here waiting. All right, Nicole. Thank you so much. So y'all hear first and from Nicole. And trust me, she has been a day one supporter. And you guys will see her a lot on my, my, my trips. And yeah, that's about it. So thank you, Nicole. Yes. All the best, babe. Thank you, honey. Take care. Thank you. All right, so we're going to add back Melissa because she missed the call. And then we're going to talk about... I'm going to have a little giveaway after I add Melissa. I'm going to have a little giveaway for everybody that's on the live. You know, some question and answer. So put on a thinking cap so we can, um, so you can win a little something, something. And nothing big, but that's something. All right. It's not anything big, but it is something. You guys can win. All right. Melissa. Hi, Kimmy. Hi, Boo. What's up? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Boy, me too. You tune in from um from eight o'clock when you just come on. Really? Yeah. You tell me that it might yes, be early. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Didn't mind at all. All right. So, mm -hmm. good evening, everyone. Kimona is the best. I can tell you that. I can attest to that. Kimona is the best. So I went on the Thailand trip and I gave her very late notice that I am going to be on the trip. The trip was September. All the visa processing was supposed to be done from, is it July or August? July, August. Yeah, we started. July. Exactly. Yeah. I told Kimmy like, yes, did my biometrics and everything. 
and got an email like a week after that I have a visa. <laughs> no, and that was my first visa, right? I, it was my first visa because I tried for the US visa four times. Four times. Yes, I went four, four times. times. <laughs> Just before. But you never um, try with me though order. for the US. Never try no. with you, but I'm definitely going to try with you again. I've been discouraged to go to, to the US. US. I'm not enthused anymore. After seeing different parts of the world, thanks to you, I'm not enthused. about. I didn't miss anything about the US. So we went on the Thailand trip. I got my Schengen visa. I got, I got my Thailand visa. And, you know, when we were at the airport, I said, I... I don't think I could have done it on my own. I don't think I could have done it on my own. I went to the airport, check in, went on the flight. Guys, we got free <laughs> upgrade on the first flight. We were on Tui, going to Tui to Belgium. Belgium. Yes, mm -hmm. and we made a stop in in Mexico, Cancun. Like, me and my son go Mexico, and I literally step from Mexico land. Even, even if I didn't went out and do anything, we go Mexico. Right. We go Mexico. <laughs> so we got an upgrade from economy to first class um, on Chewy from Montego Bay. Owen said thanks yeah. to him for that. Uh, Owen, let you get the upgrade. <laughs> Owen said thank me for that. Thank you, Owen. Because when I went on the flight, I was like, wait, so up here, so we are sit down in some big, nice, comfortable chair. And funny enough, when we went to Cancun and we had to, to, to come off the flight and go back, when they put us in the economy seats, I was like, um, why do we have to sit here? I was already <laughs> spoiled. <laughs> spoiled child. I think like, you got that experience for the first time. I know, right? Because I couldn't have paid for it. And if I if I didn't do my my all my traveling with you processing, I would be able to sit in first class. So um I'm I'm always going to mention this experience. Nice. No, we went to we went to um so from Belgium we went to Amsterdam, Netherlands. Yes. You went to Amsterdam? Um, yes, we did. Can, can oh, you? there was a change. There was a change. Because I didn't have you guys to Amsterdam. And oh. enough, they took care of us like nothing happened. There was no blame game. There was nothing because something happened with the airline. And they said, are you guys with, you know, this group? Travel with Kimmy. You're seven people traveling together. And we were like, yes, it's seven of us. And the lady fixed everything, put us on a different plane. So we actually went to like four different countries. We we have a Netherlands stamp in our book, you know. A lie. <laughs> yes. And you know, it was such an exciting trip and I love every minute of it. Now we got to Bangkok and there were people waiting for us, literally guys. Um, they had the travel with Kimmy sign. They said, "Are you traveling with Kimmy?" Like, yeah, sorry to cut you, up, but that part is always the, the favorite part for me. Like when yes. I approach at the airports, and they're always holding the sign to welcome. Exactly. And guys, I, I set that up as a part of the process. I don't believe in you being at the airport not having yes. somebody to greet you, especially in a foreign country. In a foreign country. So I always ensure that we have. A driver waiting at mm -hmm. every mm -hmm. airport. All right, yeah, continue. Yeah. That was that was really good for us because we went outside and we were looking and we we're like, all right, which bus is it? But you know, the travel with Kimmy um, sign was held up and we were like, Kimmy, here it is, and we were so excited. So we went to Bangkok. We had a blast. It was awesome. Let me tell you, we did not. I did not miss America. Bangkok is like a. It's a first world country, first world shopping experiences, all the luxury brands that you can think about. Nightlife is a one on point. The bus them like after one. <laughs> Pardon. The bus. The bus with the lights. Exactly. <laughs> everything like really really good um so the first hotel let me let me guys tell you about the hotels because kimmy not easy you know <laughs> guys may they get my paper because we paid under four hundred dollars 
to stay at two hotels for two weeks. When I added it up, I think it was three hundred and seventy-seven dollars I spent. In, on the hotel. Not less. Three seventy-seven, and you got breakfast and Wi-Fi. A breakfast included, Wi-Fi included, free upgrades. We mean grades. Are we thirty of us? We all had lovely rooms, immaculate rooms, perfect views, very, very good, like clean, nice hotels. No, 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 lead up something on a corner, no, no, hostel, nothing like that. Earlier, make me feel Five proud of myself. Days. You make me feel it's so true. proud, oh God, man. You deserve it, Tim. Oh, no, no, the struggles that I got through. My colleague, because she was saying, Is that the girl that you went on the trip with? And guys, it took a lot of research because when one of the, yeah, when the 30 yeah. one of the 24 a.m. in Thailand, when it's 9 24 so p.m. in Jamaica, when one of the sleep at night time, maybe 12 o'clock, me up. I made the research. I mean, that exactly. year, planning that Thailand trip, I had a, a sleepless night. I had a lot a of. Lot. I trust me, and it was when I saw everyone there, with them back, and forth. back and forth, back and forth, I have to be going and asking mm. and everything was just crazy, but mm. I loved it, trust me, I would do it all over again, but now if I do it, and it wouldn't be so thing, tedious. And this ties in with the research, yeah. and this ties in with the research, because Kimi gave us more than one option. Oh my God, too and many. And this must have taken a lot of time a whole lot of time to give you say all right choose between these two hotels which one you want to stay choose between these choose between these a whole heap of research on time it's like give me your full of patience like a uh, full of patience and male people used to wonder how men are giving attention that's why i cannot give attention, yes. to, attention to other details. things right attention to details as well with Kimmy. No name, no spell wrong. You're not going anywhere, and they be like, "Who are you?" Everything is there to the T. Everything, everything. So I have to say, give Kimmy your money, give her your credit card, tell her the plan, tell her the goal, tell her what you want, and she makes it happen on a budget. On a budget, because I can tell you, um, the flights weren't super expensive. I, it, Collectively, we took about seven flights. Collectively, mm -hmm. back and forth. Because remember, the bank had to put it flights. That, exactly. Hey, that one the one hour flight and there. And we went through. <laughs> we went through Belgium. We went through Europe. Yes, sorry. Sherry, I'm gonna add you, and um, Sabrina, I'm gonna <laughs> add you as well. Don't know, kill me, but I don't know. But Mel, <laughs> thanks so much for sharing You're most your welcome. experience. Encouraging tips, encouraging, encouraging tips, tips. Trust me, I, I, I am passionate okay. about what I'm doing. I love what very I'm passionate doing. about I'm what really, you're doing. It, it is very tedious, but I love it. Love it. All right. So, so thank you, Mel. So thank you. Kimmy, it's been Take a pleasure and I'll be traveling with you in the future. Take of course, you have no no <laughs> choice. Like some of you guys have no choice. All I'm right. So more <laughs> add, more add, Sherry, because Sabrina, when I read you, you're going to make me laugh too much. Go ahead, Sherry. Dion, I'm right. going to leave you for love. But Sabrina, you're going to make me laugh too much. I'm not ready for laugh yet. Ready for love yet. So um, Sherry, call in. All right, Mel. All right, go ahead. I, definitely, I really just want to come and use this time to commend Kimmy on her. Her people would think that, first of all, a Jamaican born, so I have a Jamaican passport. So we'll make that clear, right? Lita, I mean, I was there. Anyways, <laughs> um, so sometimes. So because you're in a certain place, you're probably traveling, you're exposed, and all them something there. No, I was just like Vinet, you know, like prepared for a place and say, okay, no, um, you need to have one bag of money and all these type of things for travel. So when we say, okay, post Europe, and so I got so jealous. Man, I said, oh, sir, life out. Yeah, break up though. You sure I mean? Because Wi Fi. <laughs> <laughs> they must say they break up. <laughs> um, can I hear me better now? Yeah. Yeah. 
So like when I saw that post to the Europe trip and then I see the Thailand go up right away, I reach out and I was like, can I come on this trip? Do I have to come to Jamaica and leave from Jamaica just to be on this trip? I want to be on this trip. I need to be on this trip because my friend said, not really something like when Nicole said, I wanted to travel. And they said, if you want to do it, you will do it. I will tell you, say, you see, can you come my service? one of a kind i have yet to see anything like that it is to the point where right now somebody you know someone go for one trip i say yeah i'm no longer on instagram truck with kimmy just like her <laughs> they have everything for you you know about where you live where you're there why you people do it i party they say yeah break up sherry so they might come and say they break up me no one of me when they hear me I'm moving. They don't turn out the light. I say she's breaking up. She's breaking up. See, they must say you yeah, break up. Maybe you like to make the air better. They like make the air better. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Maybe they like. So mm -hmm. <laughs> I saw the air to Sasha. But yeah, my service is exceptional. When I tell start to are include totally involved. I said. Right on the morning, give me the top one. What do you need? Where do you guys want to go? Choose this. Choose that. All of them are so involved in the entire process. It's, it was crazy. I met mean, tell us a 30 away. And that's what we even do extras. We bus driver did have a bus. Hey, the bus them did have a bus. Everything bus. but the service <laughs> did have a bus. I'm telling you. And I'm not and when Mel talk about the hotels, we are not exaggerating. We are not exaggerating. Our pictures can be postcard pictures. When I woke up that night in Phuket, it's like me, me couldn't believe. May I say a Phuket me day? Like really? Like oh, <laughs> beautiful infinity pool every like the whole thing we were we are not exaggerating the whole thing was ex was just nice beyond measures i'm a really really back with covid right now because as lethan said today we, we would we would be back from brazil <laughs> would have just come back from brazil <laughs> with a lit right now and the other part i want to point out is whether you choose to travel solo as a couple uh, as a group, you can do it. Because in our set, we had couples, we had friend groups, we had mostly solos. And we had siblings and, you know, relatives and stuff like that. It didn't matter what your status was, it was still possible. And, and what I recognized was, I was not even the only one coming from far. We had people from Cayman and the States on that group, right? And when I look at all of that, I'm like, yo... Our Jamaican thing when we said out oh, of many one people that was that is how Kimmy is. It was so much of us, all these personalities, all and time. all that we just come to mesh. You see, breakfast time, and I know yo, know I breakfast is my favorite. You're not doing at the be breakfast, breakfast room time now, is just... nothing normal at the people in place. But here's the thing you see, how pretty you see, how Kimmy dressed nice tonight, or oh, she looked good and clean and makeup and look like a principal. I saw she did, I saw she up on the trip them. Yeah, <laughs> give me a little bit of up on the trip them. Guys. So our, no, I did not fly to Jamaica to meet. We met in the she middle. Is, Everybody that's what to New York. Kimmy. Kimmy sorted it out for us to meet. I think we met Lethan in, in, in Bangkok. Lethan in Bangkok. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Lethan, um, Lethan I Lethan I met them in New York. York. Day off. Yeah. Yeah, Lethan booked his flight the day of the there? trip. Literally. Yeah, so different, because we have split the group where some people came in from Europe, some people came in from the States. And then yeah. the rest of it come from different Melu places and stuff. But and you know what I was, was looking at your Our principal throughout yeah. the entire time. Our our principal, try like when I tell her, say, you have people walking down to the breakfast table though, in pajamas and Kimmy looking at them sideways like, we leaving at eight, you know. <laughs> we leaving at eight. <laughs> The post coming at this time. I don't know what the most coming at this time. I don't know what the most coming at this time. I don't know what the most coming at this time. I don't know what the most coming at this time. I don't know what the most coming at this time. I don't know what the most coming at this time. I don't know what the most coming at this time. I
you know, never take it personal. Like, like me will be like it the tour is at ten, you, man. and people in a pajamas. I'm like, guys, you know, yes, guys, you miss the bus. That's it. That's if you miss the bus, right you have to find your way. It reach I'm a point sorry. where <laughs> people start coming down for breakfast, half dressed. <laughs> Only thing left for you to do is put on your wig. Or maybe a slip on, and then sometimes how people come to the come to the table is not how they're reaching the bus. Cause Kimmy on our case, we were on. And here's the thing: I don't think I've ever been in a situation where we're on time for everything. On time for everything, we got to everywhere we needed to go and more. Right? Um, we connected with every place. The cultural experience was awesome. The street life, Kimmy give it a little bit of everything. It's like how when we see the tourists them come Jamaica, especially us who live on Mobile, when we see them come and end up on the hip street, and we are say, oh, then just come and stay at the airport, stay at the hotel or whatever. Kimmy make we experience all that. Everything. Yeah. Like, we not have her time time management skills. Yes, because of her time management skills, we get to experience all of that. Because for one, I'm not a morning, morning person. And breakfast not miss me. And no boss no miss me. <laughs> yeah? We get up and we out and, and roll. Hey, and oh no, make me sound too terrible. Going. People would not travel with me. I'm no, but it terrible. was awesome. It yes, was awesome. The time management. Honestly, that has been my that has been my selling point for everything, you know, Kimmy. Oh, Every the time, time management. Somebody, oh, was your trip or something? I'm like, me not think the side look like... like that if me were in planet. There was no way for any, I don't think there was any way for any one of us to do a trip like that if we planned it ourselves. Everything from start to finish was taken care of. And that is why I'm stressing so much on my experience. Come on, highlight the customer service. When me tell us from start to finish, you see from the moment me text Sarah and say, I want to be a part of this trip. And then she add me to the group. And then from the WhatsApp messages to the point that people are messaging I'm busy right now. Can't help you. I'm going to pay attention to what she just said. Yes. <laughs> and, Frank, and to the point that Kimmy, I tell we all to pack. Remember to pack it this way. Make sure so you have your suitcase. You don't know, understand. Make like, sure you have of extra clothes a couple of days. Man, exceptional. I think In Diana went back from like a month or two ago before the trip type of thing like it was except we did i i felt like i did nothing and i've told myself and i've been telling people i think i even had this conversation yesterday actually again where i said to people me not want travel again if me not travel so you understand and then and, and when i said travel i'm not talking like oh a trip home to see family or whatever i'm talking actual vacation whatever i'm not doing it if it's not the kimmy experience i get in straight up i'm not doing it if it's not the kimmy experience i'm getting and even to comment on the visa stuff she has been willing to answer every freaking question me have sometimes on bad 10 o'clock 11 o'clock me the message are forgetting that my time difference is different from hers and i'm like so kimmy mommy and and this person need this you know so why you say girl and then she just answer and then i say oh okay and i'm gonna link her one next time like she's always there always available and something always willing to help and like she start out our program she is not going to recommend you for something if she don't think it go happen she not do it she not do it because i have I, I personally have pushed let me say that i personally have pushed and she just look, she not pay me no mind. No. Like, no buzz. Listen. Yeah. Listen. Sometimes, you know, when I get the, the little, you know, little bit of largey, not today. I'm just saying, I'm in mind. Kimona, black that out. Black yep. that out. Me just black it out and gone. Yep. Gone about my business. Yo, That's true, Nicole. Guys, the whole planning Nicole was... Nicole was the person with 50 pairs of shoes on the trip, you know? Yeah, Nicole yeah. with her 50 pairs of shoes. I'm telling you, Sabrina, all over the place. <sighs> I'm telling hey, you, remember there were so many Sabrina and, the wig. and we all meshed and it was good. Um, and I, what I, I love it for you, Kimmy. So may I talk to you now? I don't talk to them. What I love for you is how we saw it also. We saw you fine-tuning the business. There are many mornings at breakfast when she's like, oh, um, 
I'm thinking about doing this and I'm thinking about doing that. I don't even think you had left your job yet. No, I still when you had, had my full-time job. Yeah, she still had her job when she had us and she had, we could have seen her there fight it and let talk say, should I do this full-time or should I do it this way? And and we have said, girl, you take off now. Go on a road. Go on a road. You take off now. And even then, she's still nervous. And while she's on the trip with us, she's planning other people's trip. Oh, my so gosh. My gosh, man. <laughs> Do you guys want a better travel agent like that? Like, she's on the trip, you know. She's a part of it. She wasn't there as a chauffeur. A mother, as much as we call her principal, but she was actually here to enjoy herself. call me herself. mommy. Uno call me mommy. Well, mommy. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> she, she was there to enjoy herself same way. Same way, same way, same way. Yeah, but how much time I want to chat about the wig them? Sherry, <laughs> <But, laughs> yo. I couldn't keep up with you and your wig them. Like, every day, Sherry, every tour... Sherry, have a different <laughs> wig and lipstick. Mr. So, so, hear me at one point. Come here. How much wig you have? <laughs> at one point, a legit called her over and was like, how much wig you have? No, really. She said, well, <laughs> as she they called, I think she said, four. Mr. said, four? She said, yeah, me love wigs. You know, Timmy. Me said, okay. And you know, I'm in love, but I don't want to take my personal like, uno no take things personal, uno no thin skin, and uno no, uno just dear the engine yourself. I just, it feel good. It make me feel so, even though on the she trip, when get sick, right? As we're I love this for you. I love, I love it, it for you, cause as much as man, I know you from basic school. Me when kind of get to see when you did a fine tune with Linton and the rest of them at the table. Let's talk about where you want to go and to see you actually launch out and the thing take off. You see, you know, you know, I I felt so good when I saw the pictures from Dubai. When I started, oh, yeah? Kendi, they post the picture. Them. Yeah, because remember, you know, that's the next big trip after we, you know. That's yeah. That's the next big thing, you know. I may look funny and I may say, yo, this I go far, you know. <laughs> this is not just visa. This is not, you understand, this is a whole process. A whole freaking process. May I tell you? Bro, I swam in the middle of the freaking ocean. Me not swimming and nothing deeper than when me, when me knee or me hit them there, you know. I was out tip on boat. A, a luxury lifestyle can me give you, you know. Fifi Island for we own yacht. Yeah. We own boat and gone out. Swimming and migla nowhere. And all these things. Uh, it's like sometimes I look back on the pictures and I'm like, me did actually day or so. Me, Sheree, when they are so, like, me not, when they are so, you understand? And to be honest, you would think that somebody who lives in a country like this would be exposed to certain things or whatever. No. No. And Kimmy sets that bar and sets that experience for everybody to be able to experience it, no matter where you are. And for those asking about prices, I did see those comments before I came on. Don't worry about the money. Say, okay, if the if the trip is like the London, $1,800, you're going to have to take that out one time. Kimmy allows you time to process and oh plan and all that. None of us had all that. None of us had that money right up. We just put on with name and say, Kimmy, yeah. And then she just start give us time frames. I would start calm. Down. There was even one time when I was so with up on diets, not buy no food. <laughs> no food, because we half it up on the trip. <laughs> like it was, yo, I'm telling you, man. This woman, yeah. This woman is everything. On a need for check her out and stuff. And, and she's a person. She's also able to plan your regular trips because she's done that. You've seen that on her pages. Yeah. yeah, like she's done a lot of those. So it's, if, if you don't want, even though the group, trip is an experience in and of itself you can, if you want a friend or your partner or whatever just wants to do a trip cool and remember whatever trip you're going on you know she will help you with that visa process and like mm -hmm. we have been stating all evening she not recommend nothing where she not sure of. not recommend yep. what she not, not recommend not what she can say okay yeah i witnessed mel and them doing the visa process I saw when Kimmy was like, Kimmy was talking to these people personally. 
I mean, so, oh, them keep, keep me know them people are from, oh, the lady at the embassy said we need to be there at this, at this time. I'm like, lady at the embassy? <laughs> huh? Because <laughs> I have to build a relationship with the embassy, you know. I have to build a relationship. They know me right now. Listen. Yeah, like, I'm like, know me. and that's the thing. She builds exceptional, like, really good relationships with people. The lady who took us around on tours in Thailand, the woman all are look for me. They look out for me. Do you, are you guys okay? Are you guys, do you guys need anything? All of that. Yeah, mm -hmm. all of that was there. It was there. And like Mel says, if you do go on a trip, if you do choose to go on a trip, do not go on, do not not go on the tours. You understand? Ah, you're you gonna feel left time, out. Cause we had down times where we stayed at the hotel or we want go mall or whatever. Fine. But I put that but in I... it where persons get relaxed day. <laughs> I give every every we get relaxed day at each, like a day to yourself where you can relax and just do anything. Right. Yeah, yeah but like the tour, the tour days them do not take that away from you. Cause I am telling you, me I tell you, the tours them was when I say we are run up and down at the tiger cage, yeah? <laughs> we run up and down at the tiger cage, but each of we say it now miss we. Yes, even the U.S. Embassy, she processes those visas. She says yeah, she processes up to 14 different, mm -hmm. 14 different countries. Countries. For the link, 14 link different in visas. her bio or send her and DM. You will get an automated message right now. But because uh, obviously she's on live. When she's done with live, she will respond to your DM in a timely manner. Absolutely. Yes, so be professional. If it's me not respond like tonight, I'll respond tomorrow. You know here? But right. me go respond. Right. But All she right. always, always, always. I'm so telling you, if it wasn't for so COVID, much. we had Brazil and all those things. Planned. Yeah, we have so many places that we need to go. We just yeah. wait to see what COVID really are going with. Some countries open up. But we still, the ones that we really want to go to, it's still a, a, a challenge. But a lot is, is coming because at the end of the day, we're not, we not stop. This is just the beginning, you know, two but years that's in. Africa. But that's ready for just post -Africa. We have Africa, we have a South Africa. We have so yeah. much. Sherry, trust me. Thanks for everything. <laughs> me happy when you come on the trip. I'm a to, congrats again on your two years. Many Thank more you. years to come because this not stay here. So. Only up in go. Only she up. freeze. Mm -hmm. You there? Okay. Yeah, I said congrats. Only up you're going. Only up. Thank you. Thank you. So take care Bye. and keep in touch same way, hon. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So the first person to type the correct answer will be getting a prize. All right, so pay attention. Lita, and try to pin the first. Well, I'll try to as well to pin the first right answer so the person can. Um... Sashan, you're not allowed to answer either because I think you helped me put together the question the other day. So, Sashani, please, you need to be looking out for the correct answer as well. Yeah. All right. Ready? So the question is, so I'm going to be doing three questions with different tanks. We have to select the winner first. All right. So the first question is, name two trips postponed this year due to COVID-19. Name two of Travel with Kimmy trips that was postponed this year due to COVID-19. Name two Travel with Kimmy trips that was postponed this year due to COVID-19. Name two. Kim the Great. Kim the Great. That's the first correct answer. Oh my God, may I try Pinar? All right, so Kim the Great gave the first correct answer. All right, Kim the Great, congratulations to you. Yes, 
the Canada and London trip was postponed due to COVID. So Canada, London, and Europe was postponed. Brazil was postponed as well. So Canada, so four trips was postponed. So she gets two out of the four. So Kim the Great, I'll write your name down and you win for yourself. 2500 off your next visa application. That's Kim the Great. Congratulations to you, girl. And looking forward to working with you. All right? You're a really great girl. I am named Kim. Big up yourself. 100 off. Next visa. All right? Next question. When I'm ready for the next question, I'm going to sit ready them. I'm going to sit ready them. I'm, I'm a bit parched. Let me get a little sip. Of my white wine. Oh, Wayne, why are you so disgusting? Oh, Wayne. You're too disgusting, but you never win nothing yet. Next question. Ready? Oh, enough. Oh, wait, let's see if you keep talking. The next trip, I'm going to put you on my roller coaster. Me going to put you on my roller coaster. You remember how oh, you went being from the roller coaster at uh, 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 Bangkok? Don't keep running off your mouth. I'll put you on a roller coaster. All right, next question, guys. Next question. What visa do you need to visit Russia? <laughs> what visa does you, oh, what visa do you need to visit Russia with a Jamaican passport? What visa does one need to visit Russia with a Jamaican passport? I don't see the right answer yet. What visa do you need to visit Russia with a Jamaican passport? William Shavy. What did Shavy? I'm seeing Macy Mola as the winner. What did Shavy say? I'm looking for Shavy before I announce. Shavy says Schengen. No, the answer is actually none. You don't need any visa to, to visit Russia with a Jamaican passport. So Sabrina, Macy Mola, Macy Carter Mola. You win for yourself this evening a free trip quote. Okay? So, Macy, Mola, Carter, congratulations. I'm writing it down so I remember when you're ready. All right? So, Macy, big up yourself, big up yourself. One more question before we get into the next segment. Then I'm going to have a final giveaway after that. And that's it. All right. So the final, que or the the final question until we get into the next segment. Okay. Name four countries that does not require a visa to visit. Name four countries that does not require a visa to visit with a Jamaican passport. So name four countries. They are 63. Just name four out of that to win the next prize. Name four in one comment. Bahamas, Russia, Cuba, Mexico. All right. Khadija, Ka, what is that? That is... Khadija, congratulations to you. You get 2500 off your next visa application. That is K-H-A-D-E-E-J-A. 
J A H. All right, and that's a dot underscore. Perfect. Congratulations to you. <laughs> First, you win something in your life. <laughs> Yo. All right. Congratulations to you. Come in, Sabrina. Hi. <laughs> Like my red lights, Lamar, <laughs> Uncle Lamar, Lamar, Sabrina, Hi, girl. Listen, please don't have me cracking up, okay? <laughs> so, you want this light or you want the bright lights? We need the Can bright lights, we're not seeing you. Okay, hold on. You over there? <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, huh? So Sabrina, talk about your first time flying. So Sabrina, guys, she okay. came to me with a blank passport. Say, girl, me just want travel. Me say, where you want to go? Give me anywhere. Me just want travel. Tell them about the experience. Okay, my first um, experience was going to Panama. Okay. <laughs> Lisa, I listen, listen, me I laugh because I know this story. Listen. <laughs> Sabrina, yes, listen, I, not do it. First, <laughs> first off, you want to just let me tell the story now? Okay. Okay. All right. I have to act nice now. Yes, Lita, I have to come out. Yes, it's live. Anyways, <laughs> first of all, when we, on my way to the airport, yes, keep on about my flight and everything and such forth. On my way to the airport, when I reached the airport, it was a couple minutes before my flight. Even, keep on, you know, so I almost missed all of my flight and do Oh, you almost miss all of your flights. Why every time you almost miss a flight? Because I don't know. For me, come on and I'll reach the airport. When we reach here, the lady go tell me, you know, say, um, you know, you can the, the flight is uh, um a couple minutes before booking. And I should leave my suitcase, but I can go. So me say, how oh, we feel leave the suitcase, this is what we go have. But we go carry an empty suitcase. Anyways, so happened that they um I don't my wife right? so they're circle Are you right back. it's back I'm back okay. so the lady now tell me say all right then put in my have to carry my suitcase now upon the plane with me <laughs> in Panama and everything all is well I text Kimona we talk about my trip and such for it we say Kimona at least no meet up on the plane remember my first time traveling you know when the plane was pushing back, come on, on. where color? You never must break down. <laughs> and the theater, me say, me hand me go wet, me foot back and wet, me body wet to hold me the sweat. I said, Jesus Christ, I feel this one of the wash out of the hotel. Let me stop the plane, cause I me, me not like the feeling. Me not like the feeling. Why the plane stop? Why come off of the plane? Me say, Lord Jesus, so me see bombing. Me really don't want to pass the plane. <laughs> Then the plane, they go back. Then they say, everybody sit down, come and say, no, man. You can't do this. No, I scream. No, I stop the plane. Then the plane go back now and take off. When the plane is in the sky, come on, I'm not going to hold me not dead. People, I'm not going to hold me not dead. Really. When I see now the plane, they fly and they fly and they fly. I say, all right, everybody come. So me go come. Come and look around to see if nobody is at nowhere. So... Everybody call. <laughs> me know when the plane I go land, we right, see the islands coming down to Panama. We say, Jesus, we feel the plane I go down now. We say, Jesus Christ, upon the island. What is the plane? 
Mr. What is the plane go crash in our and the plane was descending now. Good morning. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Stress out. <laughs> Mr. Stress right out. Because I've been the island, I'm going to see. And the plane will go down. I'm going to know what to expect because it's the <laughs> first time. <laughs> so when you say, boy, you're going for a plane, but then left your pee. No. <laughs> Yeah, Kimona, I think that was when I was going to China. Oh, Kimona. Oh, we finished Panama. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. <laughs> so the plane I go down, Mr. G, then the plane, go down now. Stop, Mr. As me reach, me take me call Kimona and reach. And me say, right now, how many go back to my yard? So I have to go come to Panama and come bring me home. Because I don't want to go back to the plane. <laughs> In Panama, up and down the road. You wanna know? So, you wanna? Know. Sabrina said, "Wait, no. Sabrina, reach up Panama, no. Me call Sabrina. So, Sabrina, how was your first time flying on British? Sabrina said she don't know how she gonna come back to Jamaica if she can't take boat. The girl said so she not go back for no more plane." She got asked, oh, is she going to get back to Jamaica? But she ain't going back because of the experience. <laughs> she traveled alone because she said she wanted to go somewhere. So I tell her, all right, mommy, book your figure Panama. And also she ain't up to Panama. But anyway, continue. Yes, all right. Me in Panama, a couple, how, how many days? I think it was three days or two. It was a so on my four day trip. trip. Okay. Or a three day. When I was supposed to come back, I was busy taking pictures. When I reached the airport, they said I missed my flight. So I had to reschedule the flight for the next day. All right. This flight, no, when me in the plane, no, the plane, they take off. And uh, when me, they go up in the sky, no. Kimona and me, the wind that they put me. Wind. You see when me look down, Kimona, I see another horse. He said, Jesus Christ, the plane, I'm going to drop. No. Me say no, ma. Me say, come on, listen. Trust me. Come on, I'm gonna be back. So yes, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna drop down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're about to ever did it. Yes, me take the plane. I'm gonna drop. Come on, cause I was at the yeah, I was at the window. Come on, and then you know, so when the plane I send, it at least start. It's not like. So me kill me daddy play that go drop him on a be a horse and me say, remember the play them bam up just drop and blast me say God me kill me. Jesus. Girl. Yes. <laughs> that was it. That was like May. I think it's May. Are yeah, you? it was May, June. June. May, May anyway, June. I think I June. Couple weeks after that, me again. Come on now. So we had not? We had. We had. <laughs> After Sabrina tell me about the Panama experience, and I said she not fly again, you know. Me a cook two weeks after. Kimmy, how much you got China? I said, Sabrina, you, have, you see you not fly again for Panama. You want to go to China? You know for China then? She said, girl, I want to go over there. I always want to go over there. I said, Sabrina, you alone are going to take yourself to China? Kimmy, yes, just tell me how much for the flight. I want to go to China. Me look up the flight, tell Sab give Sabrina the flight and set out start out our visa, start out the flight and tell them when you get found out how much our flight. <laughs> that flight was like twenty four hours. 20 the flight was literally hours. long, long. Ten hours, then another twelve hours. Yeah, twenty two hours. Twelve hours. Yeah, twenty two hours. One per hours, but listen, China flight, it was flight, and it was in the night. When I was going to China, all right, reach at airport, even though I didn't really nervous, you know, because I'm here alone. So I was being at the airport, still on car, I don't know nobody, me still on, no, thank God I never, I went, no, I wasn't at a window. I'll be now to go to Germany. It was night. Even though I didn't nervous, it never so bad until we reach a Germany, they go to China. <laughs> me and the plane, you know, I'm there at the window. Yeah, I, I had Wi-Fi on the plane, so me text Kimona and such, but when I was traveling, I always text Kimona. 
Anyways, on the fly, no, I was at the window and I was looking outside. It was in the night. Most all the flies are night. When I looked outside, I saw a light. Jesus. I saw a light. And the light was getting brighter and brighter. And I said, Jesus Christ, they said, Why well, missile come now? Mr. C.D. Missile, they come up and they play, but everybody sit on time. traveling alone we call sabrina like every every couple hours we call sabrina you're good where you there you're good or we they go out because you can whatsapp they have wi-fi on the planes with china plane especially you get wi-fi connection so me there now i'm call sabrina i say hey boo you're good where you there you're good anyway in a day early morning i wake up one morning i think the morning after she leave I call her and I say, Sabrina, here are you? I say, where do you do? I do hear gospel play. <laughs> you know, the, should I play gospel? <laughs> Sabrina said, look how I come for a flight. Then let me go. Then let me pick me. I say, I come towards the flame. And the people, them sit down calm. I say, Sabrina, where the top? I mean, I lose it. <laughs> You wanna, but me, 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 but we pass the light, we realize that the plane are going to go on the light again. Go back, so say, okay. But Kimora, every time we have to go on a plane, when we land at Hong Kong, then we have to go on Guans. Just Kimora, 